It is the Stephanie Miller Show. Welcome to it. 51 minutes after the hour. Current TV in here uh, filming really like literally like a foot to my right. Yeah. <laughs> filming my right cheek. That's not at all awkward. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> I was just doing some wacky stuff, John, where I had arugula on my teeth. <laughs> what a... Arugula? What a snob. Well, because it's a liberal show. Yeah. Yeah. Just exactly. sipping my latte, eating my arugula. In your current TV mug. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I actually, uh, I did it as a joke, and then I actually did have stuff on my teeth. Yeah. He was like... <laughs> yeah, clear that off. Take that off. Okay. This is for promos, don't. It's not funny anymore. No. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. What are you, eight? Tony, well. you're going to blow Bill Wait Press's it. whole lead in with that arugula. <laughs> we're going to shoot a Chuck E. Cheese pizza after this. Yeah. <laughs> Tony in Chicago. Hey, Tony. Hey, Steph. How are you? Good. Go ahead. Hey, Chicago Tony was at the show. Really enjoyed it. Oh, thank I wanted you. to give a shout out to Chris because hmm? uh, watching you stream, whenever uh, you wanted some music to back you out, you would wave your hand at the band. And they would look at you like, what the heck is going on? And it was just so funny watching you stream just to see you do that. Oh, I see. Because you always, you always do that to Chris. Yes, oh, I do. I do oh, make I gest- gestures to Chris, indicating that he yeah. is, in fact, number one. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank All right. you. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you, Tony. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. No, I don't really know what that was about. Okay. Let's go to uh, Melissa in Chicago. You're on the Stephanie Miller Show. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Stephanie Mooks. Good Hi. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I was just calling because this whole blunt amendment and all of this is really a way for the Republican Party to institutionalize the misogyny that Rush Limbaugh has been pushing yeah. since he published his first newsletter. It's about giving us equal compensation. Our insurance is part of our compensation, and it's just a way to kind of push back against Lily Ledbetter. And for mm-hmm. them to say that they don't hate women is simply yeah. I don't think it's not true anymore. I, you can't push it off as just a, a one-off thing. This is this has been their plan. Well, that, that's what I was. Melissa, that's it. it. From an Nazi slut. They don't hate women who behave, madam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Melissa, that's the part what is is that they right. really do love their sluts. I yes. mean, let's be yes. honest, men yep. love us, and and so. You know, why Why do we have to carry that as a badge of shame anymore? I say maybe take away yeah. power, start to embrace it. By the way, and Melissa, I love how they said, well, you, but you guys said it, but they're failing. It's like, and you know what? It's the same thing. They didn't think she was qualified to be vice president either. She was like wank material. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Stephanie, come on. Spend you your know life speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, Melissa. You can't say that on TV. No, she's no, not. She's not in this country. But she was. That is, that's a vicious lie. We have sluts for that. She was not wank material. What? Thank you. She's a slut. Look at her. Slut. Well, how many conservative guys wrote things that were like softcore porn no, no, about her? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They were. Oh, yeah, it was there like was Sarah Palin fan fiction. Most yeah, but can definitely. we also can we also bring up something very important? No one in the media has talked about that. Rush Limbaugh has confused slut with skank. Slut yes. is a skank with self esteem. Okay. Thank you. Thank sluts you. are some of the finest people I Thank know. You. The proper term for male slut, by the way, is male. And sluts <laughs> are some of the most fine Americans I've ever met. Skanks are sluts gigolo. with no self respect. Thank you. Everywhere Thank I go. For that clarification. Thank that's you. about yeah. slut pride. And you know no, what I'm talking you know, about. Melissa makes a good point. You know, that's the thing. Not only was this not a one time slip, slip of the tongue that he apologized for, it was a sustained attack. And it also, he is the face of the Republican Party in that these are their policies, as she's pointing You're out, right. state after state. Mm-hmm. It's not like it's, it's you know, and. By the way, the whole war on women, he he made a slutty joke about that. When exactly do we pull out the war on women? <laughs> and that's the other big yeah. difference. Bill Maher doesn't have a 20-year record of opposing feminist politics, and Bill Maher doesn't control an entire political party that's afraid to criticize him. Yeah, exactly. Uh, by the way, no one in the Democratic Party barely even comes on this show, let's, let alone listens to anything I say. Exactly. It's because all Because I say things it's... like wank. See? So, that's <laughs> so this the is difference. Why, when they have a Republican... good sense not to listen to me. And there goes Austin Goolsby as a potential. <laughs> Thank you, know you, Stephanie. When your right-wing friends try and pull this Bill Maher equivalency rap on you, reject it. Don't let them change the subject. This is about what Limbaugh said. They're doing that because they know they can't defend what Limbaugh said. And keep it on the real point that Limbaugh was lying about birth control coverage. That's the real story. Not Bill Maher said to Jane King. Yeah, now he's lying. He, he said yesterday, nobody's losing money here, including us. All the advertisers uh, are not canceling business on our stage. Well, um, yeah, you know... You know yeah.
You're a lying sack of crap. Then what's the You're dead a air lying about? Skinny, yeah. Stinking, nasty sack of liquid crap. Well, um, the, the dead air that that could have been a, a local station. Sure. Problem. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But it was a local but, station problem. They couldn't sell ads. Well. <laughs> well <laughs> yeah. Well, yes. well, any any uh, you know any station of that magnitude is going to put on a PSA instead of dead air. So uh, uh, I'm not I'm, not eighty percent of their of their ad, of their commercial time. No the radio station on earth runs dead air on purpose. Oh, by the way, I love this. Did you see what he tried to do? RushLimbaugh.com removes offensive attacks from the transcript. Oh, that's very yeah. clever. Oh, that's because, true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, uh, he wished it away into the cornfield. Yeah, he smeared yeah. her at least 70 times. Uh, the Atlantic Wire points out his website has scrubbed a few offensive comments. Uh, his site removed his sex tapes comment that we'd like to watch uh, mm-hmm. from March 1st. Uh, the pages were clearly working a few days ago. Several sites uh, linked to them. Uh, you can't get away with that in this day and age. No. Chris and I, we were... You know, hearkening back, John, to the time in radio when you could go, oh, no, we don't have any recordings of that. We don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it happened, and then it was just gone in Out radio. Out We don't. But there weren't. There was no transcripts. Right. There was no podcast. There was no, you can't get away with anything these days. Oh, don't we know it. We would go, oh, I'm sorry, the big, those big tapes, they malfunctioned that day, and there's no record yeah, of that. the tape just snapped. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so, and now we have to say hi to Newsbusters every day. Hello, Newsbusters. Oh, mm-hmm. they, How do yeah, you? They're, Sue they went after me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sue in Rockville, Maryland. Hello, Sue. Hey, good morning. Um, one thing before I tell you why I called. It is the Blunt Rubio Amendment. That's Everyone right. Everyone needs Thank to you. know Marco Rubio was the co-sponsor because they're going to put him up for VP. Mm-hmm. And we, all of us women and all the men who love women, which is all of you there, uh, mm-hmm. so just remember that. Okay. Listen, I am very confused. I need your help. Okay. Okay? I don't know which right-wing moron I'm supposed to listen to <laughs> because El Gasbag says that you're a slut if you need contraception and you want to have sex, but for someone like me who's past menopause, does that mean I can have all the sex that I want and yes. I'm not a, a slut anymore? Yes, you can slut people, away. Yes. I can slut away. You can but slut away with your dusty hand. eggs. Yes, you're but encouraged to. Oh, they're all gone. Everything's gone. I'm seeing his whistle. <laughs> <But> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> trust, me, I, trust me, I know. I got tumbleweeds. Three kids, three oh, grandkids. I have done, I have reproduced my family. Um, <laughs> listen, but Frothy says I can only have sex <laughs> procreation. So since I can't no longer get pregnant. I mean, does that mean I can never have sex again? Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> Obey them both and be confused like your right-wing brethren. Yeah, I don't. That's that's way too much uh, sex <laughs> advice. <laughs> I wouldn't be the person to go to for sex advice. All right. No. Um, the, um, oh, the, uh, oh, bo- boy, that Obama college video. Wow. Was that a bomb? Sh- yeah. Yikes. Wow. Talk Sorry I voted for him now. Ooh. Yeah. Too bad there's not a video of him with a witch hunter. <laughs> Come back with that next on the Stephanie Miller Show.